So when it comes to studying, I always think that we need a space for us. Or it's not a space without distraction, but it's a space where when you go there, you feel like studying because that study space is a main reason for your interest to study. And if you don't have a study space and it's just all scattered all around, then I don't think so. You'll have that interest or you'll be able to study. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how you can study and how you can create your study space to study. And I personally think that environment is everything and it's really important because like when you go to play, if there are no friends, then you don't have that environment. If you have a friend circle when you play, it just like gives that environment. So I want to uh, bring a positive vibe or a study vibe whenever you come near the study space and that is what we're going to be discussing. Okay, so the first thing that I recommend is to go get a table or a place where you're going to set up your whole study space. Now this table should be there in maybe a room or in a hall or in a place where you can try to be alone. It's okay if others come because that again creates another vibe. So try to have a study space or a study table there so after having that table you have to take everything and keep it behind you on your bed like if you're studying in your room that's great you need to take all the things all the arrangement that you kept before and you need to keep it in your bed after that start cleaning your table one by one because each inch matters because small small things only create a big um, an amazing thing so do those small small arrangements and then we'll start with arranging our own So as the first step says, take off all the other uh, necessary things that will be needed later. Uh, just take off all the, you know, decorations that you had before and we're going to attach them in a different way later to create that vibe. So whatever thing you have, um, like whatever you've stuck onto your beautiful wall, just take it off and then give a scrub in that Okay, so now you completed your first step. The second step is to arrange your needs. Now this means that you need to arrange in such a way that you create a vibe. Uh, now when it comes to studying, I always think that you know, studying is basically productivity and to create that productivity, you always see a lot of pictures in, in Pinterest, Instagram and you are really uh, into it. But then you don't have those things. So we are going to like create that vibe with what we already have. So you're going to uh, take all your necessary things like your pencils, your, uh, you, you might have like five pencils laying around so you're going to take all your pencils, erasers and you're going to keep them in such a way it creates an environment. Now if you can see I have this um, flower thing, now that flower thing has my picture on it Now this creates a personal vibe uh, so that I can study and I can see that that is my workspace because studying is our job like well you have a purpose in life and i think so that studying is a purpose in life for now and that's why you need to create that particular wo workspace for you to uh, do your thing so you're going to take all your things and you're going to arrange it in such a way that you like it you have that you know work environment because when we go to school uh, you have that environment that you're going to sit down you have your necessary things and you start writing or in your office you have your desk uh, you have your um, computer and everything like that so in your workspace in your study space you need to have some necessary things that are only personal to you so whatever you need you are going to take it and you're going to keep it so the third thing that we're talking about is about aestheticness. Now I will be displaying three pictures. As you see, these pictures uh, define aestheticness for most of you. But I don't think so. That's the only way you can make a thing or a place aesthetic. If you like it, then I think that's aesthetic. Uh, to make something uh, likable for you i think so you need to experiment that is why i like to keep a lot of personal things plus things of studying all together and mix it up into a fusion of what i like so to cre 
create an aesthetic space, you have to follow your experiments. That is really important and that is how you can create your ideal amazing study space. So the next thing we're talking about is about some necessary things for a study space. The first necessary thing that I think so is some natural light. Instead of having your tube light, you also need a place for natural light. This would give you more productivity. The next thing is a reachable place to keep your books. I kept this in a shoe rack and I like changed it to my convenience to a book rack and I've kept everything so that it is easy for me, it's really reachable for me near my, near my desk. The last but not the least thing is to have uh, keep your whole room clean so that you have that environment um, not only in your study space but also your whole room so these were some tips of mine to create your study space i hope you like the environment that you created with this being said see you next time bye bye